yellow. For some more... Dates. Some good old uh, murder mystery. See if I can actually... <laughs> use my brain self because... Well, a little sleep. But you know. Work somehow. Yeah. Started. Our professors. Must allow me to play video games at. Um. Only the fastest program at loading and not at all. Or bulky than it should be. Yeah, I said I'd just uh, do, do, like, Comedium Files again this week, just because it's, like, I'm really into it, and also it makes, like, sense since it's, like, uh, have a game I want to not, like, <laughs> you know, spread out, like, too far, whereas, like, I don't even remember what happened and shit like that. Especially when we're, like, on the same case still, you know? <laughs> so. Eyeball doing? Oh, we'll find out. What is Iba doing? Oh, you like a recap of sorts. Nice, we wanted to see that again. Alright, where were we? I think we just found out about the other. about the dad. Got, but other than that. Right, she like hopped along. Ditch the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't. Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you. I can help. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. Uh, yeah, sure. No. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. Like my models can't pass out and get like <laughs> fuck with my audio. Ugh. Oh, interesting. Very fun. Let's check why that's sorted. Hmm. I literally all I did <laughs> was unplug and plug back in my headset since the audio is like kind of goofy. Incredible. The fact that that crashed it of all things. Amazing. Just, just, you know, normal things for games to do. If we have seen it. We, we know. We know what's going on. It's okay. You don't need the recap. I mean, that's not really where we left off. Yeah, Spike Tune stuffed. I know they have the lower animation, have like the eye pop out. Okay. Hmm. Is Spike Chunsoft? Is Spike Chunsoft your game? Game, it doesn't really work. Quite function. I mean, considering all the 
glitches we found like last time through. I really shouldn't be surprised. All the models that didn't load right. Game, it's not functioning. That again. Please? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking. I'm taking you back. No, nothing will change. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you. I was. I'm maybe on. I don't know. My dad, I can't just stay at the hospital. <laughs> it's so true. Gotta have one or the other. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Amazing. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading some. <laughs> yeah, right. By Alfred Adler. <laughs> like, not sure, not sure, not sure about bringing her along on this one. Sounds pretentious to me. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. I would like she's right though. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. Smith, thanks for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the stream. You too. Break into your car and complain about this time? your security. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Doing great, thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> Shoko had a secret? Th that it? Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. Ah. Uh. We must have been extraordinarily careful. Hmm. Interesting. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Dante? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. it doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always She's right. Something smart to say, huh? It's alright. You're just like Renju. Dante. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. Damn. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hell yeah. Yeah, keep doing that. Really appreciate it. Hey. What are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. She's completely right is the thing. I am not an old creepy pervert. Even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. It's <laughs> so true, Elegy. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk-ass kid. 
have a great relationship. Even get to ask her about the weather. So sad. Let's go look at your dad's corpse. Ah, uh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, no, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. Not gonna question us, but did I bring her along at all? I mean, it looks like he's been taken down. Right. What do we got? Interesting. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Oh. Alright, 65 pounds total. You got what? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. What? A voice. No, we didn't find anything today. It's Kagami. Kagami. I told you, it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! Okay, what's your name though? <laughs> the corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death, but no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. Okay, so again... This evidence makes it highly likely that Renji was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renji weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> We ask again. Hey you. What's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Thanks. Excuse you. My best friend, uh, <laughs> Kagami, and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? Incredible. <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, alright? You too, Detective Date. Edit. That's just a chair. Okay. Loving the theme he's got going here. Sure does, bud. But the the uh. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. Creeper. Oh man. Um. How do we even feels <laughs> nice? Feels like we're not gonna. I thought I already told you. Son. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, I think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Um. Hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Well? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Well? Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. 
She's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, LG. <laughs> Me every time. Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Hey. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Definitely stalling. Okay. It, because it wasn't killed here, but I mean, there's still gonna be evidence of dragged in for some. Ooh. Iva, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Interesting. Nothing special. Okay, what's the status? Damn it, we can't ask that like five million times. So sad. So Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6 30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once at 8 55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Okay, so definitely. That mean he's like more over, like a little over 150 of them. Someone of like about the same size ish. The capacity of this oil jar is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. What? There's something inside. A watch? This is the oil drum. This the is oil the drum. oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Why are we looking over here now? Oh? This is... His watch. I think. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? <laughs> right. Has got all his autographed picks. Else from that? I assume not. Yeah. Iva, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Oh. I mean, are we gonna get anything from that? Are we just remembering? The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Okay. Interesting. I mean, the time of discovery was 10:20 p.m. Arthur, the best that he was like hardly conscious. Already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. That's an interesting detail. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? 
yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. But that's... Because, like, the time of the elevator is, like, during 8 p.m., I think. That's surprisingly close to when... This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Uh. And can we... Yeah, okay, there we go. Or maybe Ota? in here all the time. He might know something. Yes. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. Yeah, no surprise that he's in here all the time. He's probably at Lemnus. Okay. Um. Well. That's the thing that happened. Yeah, occasionally it'll just drop in the middle of the night. See, it's plus can actually they say like internet whatever on the their sites like hmm? no. Oh. Oops. Yeah, I don't know where it cut off, but. Brought up a couple of how people were heard it on that. Actually, file. Oh, not the right kind of file. You can not quite, not quite overlooked. Not quite, not quite accurate. File in a meeting. Okay. Yeah, um. <laughs> Thanks. Love having a reliable internet. Excuse me? Glad that it's like. That long? Yeah, we're back at Lemnus Gate and. The receptionist actually talked to. I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Come on, it's just not so bad. Date. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? I would assume she goes to reception on some level. I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like, best friends. They're like, just, like, best friends. We hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey, hey. Incredible. Totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? That's, like, the odds of hitting the lotto. But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know? Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. It's amazing. Okay. You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard sure that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. Oh, have 
haven't heard anything about that yet. If the VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too. Man, what are they gonna do if this place closes up? Yeah, right? Like the fact that I have a phone. And for sure. So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Eye contact. Well, I. I. We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. You disgust me. <laughs> oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. Immediately insulted. Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Impressive. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Incredible. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Got five million phone calls. Something else. The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. What's wrong with that, right? Renju. That says a lot about Renju. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? Golden Yoko Joe. A new location. Wrong. The place, like the whole thing, like oh he goes here a lot, but like, hey, so this, like, just got murdered. Just a full lead, but also. Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? They could. A complete like yeah this is where i met renju for the first time interesting didn't think this was your kind of spot well, this place is special you can find all sorts of shady characters here it's the best place for gathering information about a case so that's why that is only a partial truth shut up huh let's head inside hey actually that's pretty going here a lot and also that that bear Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. Interesting. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Shit, I think we shouldn't vote. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Sure. Man, I could use a drink. No. You're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. Hi, Bob. Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Incredible. Incredible. Nice. She's like, she shouldn't be in here for sure. I suppose she shouldn't have been at a crime scene either. So, what's the difference, right?
That's true. Sounds art. Imagine it's just actual. I'm dining. What was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. What was so good about it? Everything. Watch that while she was... Alright. No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway, because I'm not going home. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Hi, Bob. The conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemba State, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Thought that leaving her with Date was the best decision? Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date. This is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Huh. Well, that's not concerning at all for my sake. <laughs> the meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Yeah, right? Like, there's... I mean, I guess. But... Got some bigger concerns here. Really, no. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Oh, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Ah, oh, this is gonna be rough. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God.
Date, honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Oh, let's talk to music. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No I mean, one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? I thought you were talking about Dot Ivers, like when she But I guess. People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Promise. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through 65. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's about his age ignore range. That one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. Have you heard any rumors about Renji? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Oh? I'm a gang? Yeah, real rough customers. And this is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Found a watch. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? That's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. That's not going to be relevant at all. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? 
This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? Um, Suki. <laughs> Scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. That's... Here's worry with him. I what? Iba, get boss on the line. Ah. Uh... Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital. Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Ah. Uh... Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. Can't take her into a Yakuza den. Oh yeah, yep. That's that's actually pretty funny. Alright, I guess I guess we're doing this. Nothing will go wrong. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Alright. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh. I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Old man, huh? You bastard! Incredible. I just fucking press it. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Yeah, right. So you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Mama to MoMA. Alright, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? War horse and... Donna horse. Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news, but we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. If I do, just what does a guy like the chairman need this for? He probably just uses it for porn. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Oh, I, I would, uh, Yakuza need bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? Kill it. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. Yeah, they meant to. All the time. Hey, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Oh. I got nothing to say to you. It's close. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Ah. Uh. Yeah, fun. Hey, Iba, it's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. Here. Okay, yeah, I guess we can talk to the guy. But. Nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme, and I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. I'd expose all that. 
during our murder case investigation. What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Hmm. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? This got Let's beat up. Wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Ooh. He left to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Interesting. I told you. I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Date, a minute, please. Very useful. Is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Elsie or who just right now? Hey, Thermo. Or someone. Part oh, yeah, just read. Just as I thought. Hey, Iva. Can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. I didn't notice that video games work. Okay. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Very convincing. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit, which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see, somewhere behind that wall. No, oh, nothing all about like this. No, weapons there. It's fine. Oh. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait! Alper? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of a volver in this situation. Damn it. Who wants to trouble, huh? Yeah, obviously. Oh, like. Over there. Interesting. Yep, headshot protection. Right, exactly. Dante, Easy. At your feet. What? Oh my god. Wow. Slow down. Hey, did you just shoot at me? 
incredible. That's the strat. That's the strat. Sure, minigun. Back in here. What is going on? Been taking a completely different genre. Dante, load a bolter with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Why? Just do it. Yeah, this isn't the time to. Question anything. Got baby. Let's go. <laughs> I bought the pro gamer move. Perfect aim. This is the strat. Iva, you saved me. I. What? Incredible. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this portal bag? You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? I love her. Her strategist. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. Hey, coward. I see you. Show your face. I know you. Oh, dude. Um, walk over there? Huh? Got him, baby. That's... Sejima, so... Congressman. Interesting. What's this guy doing here? Oh? Are you just gonna do that over there? Uh, well, I guess there's no point hiding in now. I lied earlier. When I said I didn't know her. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. Ah. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh, he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital, and naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. Animation is so... Like... Oh, no, no. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. Now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament mandatory attendance 
We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Momo. And just knocked out, huh? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. With Yakuza as a con. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you going to spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. The president of Lemniscate? We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from the entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. All right. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Date, a call from Lemniscate. Connected. Of course. I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Our destination. Offloading. That's something to worry about later. This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Corruption and everything. Oh, she's... Ah! Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? I look close enough. Suki. It's me. Boss. Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? Idiot. We must have increased your dosage too much. A dosage? Hey. Not you. Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here? Looking like that. I just thought I would protect myself. You seem lonely. But how are you doing this? Not wrong. I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Oh, she got AR built in. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Good job. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? You don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? 
Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Oh, Iva. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. Haircut, but she gets larger. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling, and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renji were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. Okay, so basically that's not what that happened. Would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. Adam. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Uh, awesome. None of it will turn out to be relevant. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Ozabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere. Yeah. Crimp mode. Bye bye mode. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. Um, the Sejima family over. owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting huh. for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. A lot to lose. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. Hot. So, obviously, it wasn't just an accident. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kawasaki to become a restricted area. Either it wasn't an accident, or they knew it was going to happen. Find out. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. And by some people, they want. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. It? So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true. But there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kawasaki region crashed... Of course. Oh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Headquarters? This is Special Agent Dante from Abyss. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? Uh... Audio only version two. In here, I've noticed number eighty-nine. Got like a audio visualizer. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami, and if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. You will kill again, you know, and you'll take their eye while they're still alive. information that was public as well. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. 
I mean, copycat murder, kill killer, second death. That's why I thought I should contact you. Not Good impressive. idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. I guess they're around online. Do you think there's anything to this? Not the murder, the iris, anyway. I don't know. Conversation about that now? And we're not allowed to know yet. Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I just found out online. Corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. I realize he didn't know that much. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. Left her in front of a corpse. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Oh, the 12 year old? No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. There he is. Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kind of like that. And I kind of like you. I have that reaction to every single time we talk to oh, her. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. Get though. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. You're kidding. <laughs> She's recording a podcast right now. Well, I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long. Schedule. It should end soon. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Yeah, right. He just has to deal with it. Well, wait. It's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. Okay. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. A woman. One dude from fucking. Um. I don't think okay, we need a thermal scan for that. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding that, yes. Backward. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Oh no, it took me Tessa that long. Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. 
Say that. We need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. A Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and... Hey, right, that's enough of a crime. I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. It was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure Get chance, ass. I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASAT fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But... Do it for Iris. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would no. just go home. What happened? Up. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Hmm? Well, there goes the other questions we could have asked. Uh, I on going to the end of one thread, but, um... By calling the others, but oh, huh. hey, boss is here though. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent. You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth. I would appreciate your cooperation. Oh. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m. Yeah, right. You and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Also, the last of she confirms it. I mean, we know it's true. Yes? Mr. Okiyama called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before, especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. Um, I'm at... Hey, am I at? <laughs> it's a good question. I'm, like, on... Okay, but we just, um... Thought about, um... Iris at, like, the scene of the crime, like, a couple hours earlier. From, uh, Ota. And after that? Mr. Okiura to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. 
Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. I heard you used to work at that's... Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Oh. And when did you and find out Renji was killed? Part of it. This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so if I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Not suspicious at all. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. Oh. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. I know, right? Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Saying so, she might have connections, but um. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Interesting. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. There's still the whole head of, um, I husband standing over her. We've known each other for 20 years now. Definitely this thing can become relevant. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? To walk around. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Well, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? The drugs. No, it's still possible. See. Hey, we get to present uh, uh, evidence. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. Uh, oh, no, we have to wait. The show button. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. But, uh, because the other thing was that, like, he. Our 50 or so pounds, and the idea is that it was hard to like, carry him up. But there is the barrels that lifted him up, which. He, Eyes come up wasn't strong enough to put him up there on their own. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity. 
Barrels. I don't think so, Date. This is irrelevant to the question of how to lift Renju's body. All right, if it isn't the oil drum, dude. Um. Well, the elevator. Renju's corpse was just hanging from a. He was found. The wire was a. One end was attached to. The okay, so that would be relevant. There we go. I'm done. <laughs> right, but. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. That's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm. I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. The, <laughs> like, loop round we're doing right now is... How? So... Well, that's, like, one part of it. What else? Well, Jim, really? Watch was in there, but well, we're trying to see if she could have. We figured out, at least proved that patient she w could have strangled him without having to worry about him resisting. Barrels attached to the hook, she could have strung him up without, you know, an issue that weighs like that much. Like, her out. Part of it's elevator record. I mean, maybe. The oil drum is the type that has a lid empty. It weighs a harder. Sunfish pop. According to the record, the elevators at eight. The total weight to ten. Which is too much for, unless I'm added in. That could be it, because it's like 44 pounds, right? You have about a hundred for around the elephant. Now let's add in the elevator record. Watch. That proves that you Had a zoom on the watch. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. I like how Boss like interjects to be like, hey, <laughs> crime investigation doesn't work like that. We just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is Hence. how the watch came off, but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure, just pointing out that it's possible. They didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't matter. You can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me. 
Just be quiet. Hi, bye. Um, who are you talking to? No one, it's fine. Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. Put a line. Thanks, Date. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Elevator record, baby. Now we go. Go with that. So his weight. And L Trump because that includes the weight of the come in the place. Iris. On which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once. <laughs> yeah, LG. Yeah, that's how you know there's there's something not quite right going on up in there. I mean we knew that about him already. It's all the uh, horny that's killing all his brain cells. At 8.55 p.m., and we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. That's yeah, lame. Renji weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Why are you... Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or, someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs, to throw us off the trail. However... But a, well, I don't- I suppose we- That's the lugged. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. Long look at boss. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. That's how hacking works, people. Do anything you want. Huh? She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she is in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Red cops are bailing you all the... Don't you get tired from standing up the whole time? What's this? Do I detect some concern from you, Date? Thank you, but I'm fine. I'm used to standing up. And I'm used yeah, to right. making it stand up. Thanks, boss. Yeah, right, that immediately. I mean, she's... About 18? But she thought she could go away with it. Oh, impossible for her. That'll be the culprit. Character. Emotionally, that's the Trump does the same thing. What do you think? That girl is the best suspect we have, without a doubt. Yeah, it's, it's like so obviously her on the level of like actually wearing five pounds in the elevator. I'm seeing showing signs of like the person needing like assistance, body up, yada yada yada. That's uh, like. Can't be. Right? I know. Don't have. There's still so many things that aren't solved yet that I feel like. Like there's a thing with her mom having ties to Benju. Plus, weird shit we saw in uh, Date's dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. That's that's the real thing to look for. Completely fair. Can't say for sure yet. 
You seem awfully sure. I didn't say that. I just said it was possible for Iris to commit the crime. Anything you want to say? I have something to say, but not now. Yeah, exactly. It's like too perfect. Uh, are you holding up? Where is this coming from? I'm fine. Let's just get through this. Anyway, so we what obviously. Is it? Why are you staring at me? It's nothing. Oh, at a different. Oh, we have it. Ants. And there it is. Always when they're looking at their lap. Shit. Okay, yep. <laughs> if it wasn't already obvious Iris, that she's not the culprit. What are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. All right, let's go. Yeah, coughs to drug you. Her. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. Fucking outfit is so much. I know. Then, let's begin. Everyone else has like relatively normal stuff going on. Fucking go! Computer though. He's leaning into the aesthetic. Yeah, right, exactly. She committed a murder. Man. Getting her consciousness. Drugged her. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown. But there must be a connection. Iris. Ops. Somnium scan! Activate! Must be very fancy about it. All right. I'd watch. Oh, here. Hey. It's like the day two one. Um, awful, but fine. CRT TV. What about when we did actual? What's the uh? Uh, what's the little thing we're getting out of this, huh? Much as I want to be violent, I kind of want to know what would happen if we. Well. Okay, obviously, so she witnessed it. She witnessed a different crap. What? What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. 
Oh. What? What is going on here? Virus, what are you hiding? Oh, like that about it. All the mad. We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. A couple more, huh? All right. Oh, there's multiple. Well, I suppose it's obvious there's multiple paths. Oh, so the other option for like seeing the blood would have happened if we had just opt the. Uh, Interesting. Multiple time or force you to use them? So, there, if we get one that multiplies time but doesn't force it, why would. I guess since it takes up space. Force it. I'm to get an actual button. One. Got in the mirror. Oh. That just. Oh, it can't be that one. Facing forward. Oh, it's both. Okay. A full body mirror. Ooh, boy. Gotcha. Okay. It said or. I don't. <laughs> All right. Eesh. Wait ten seconds. Yeah. I mean... Let's get violent. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No. I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Good job. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Nothing. Got a half timey out of it, right? That's useful. Full body mirror. Yeah, right. No, I know she's like not at her full potential. This is but Hey, actually, that might have been the that might have been a good choice. That was seconds. That saved us. Five, the uh, R ten. Time overall. Can you talk? What? Don't copy me. Alright. Yeah, I guess we asked her specifically to punch it. What? Don't copy me. Pervert. Date is a pervert. Pervert. Date is a pervert. We're accused of right? Why do we have to get called a pervert? And twice. That was super useful. Four minutes. Got a fourth out of it. Ah, uh, strangle it. Only option. I guess. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? Alright, I guess we can choke it. Already being hanged, hung. Words. Yeah, if she can't break a mirror by punching it, I'm not sure what. I did something. Even my consciousness is being affected. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Oh, so we choked it out, and that made us unconscious. That's what it's linked to. I'm tired of this. But we have no choice but to investigate. Bodies are linked to us, which is why it's repeating. Okay, death. These are like very violent this time around. A drug bottle oh, that holds some kind of liquid. Oh. Yeah, we want to chug it. Want to chug that? That's... 
My useful is gonna. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. Exactly. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnia, some things should not be done. Present coming from you. Not though. Oh, is that what we're looking for? Yeah. Not over here, though. Perform surgery. On. I gotta admit, I'm curious. A lot of time. A lot of time to. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna do your work a lot of times, thing. Actually, the 31 here. Yeah, right? Let's find out. Let's find out if it's an exception. Might actually save us a good bit of time since we're of it. How does it feel? Awful. Am I going to be killed? Modified? I'm restless. I can't take the suspense. Watches a lot of, like, horror shows. Iris, I mean. Do you think they'll modify you into a grasshopper or a spider? That's not what I'm talking about. Well, we at least got this. Now that which is pretty solid. A double door. Yeah. Five seconds to open. Oh. I would... Having like it doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, sure, we don't have to worry about it. Having like a full inventory of time he stops you from negative one. Oh a gun, but we have to beat something else. That's not really useful. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Have it and get a third next day. Weekly shonen? Don't say it. Get sued. I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Okay, that's Nobody's blaming fortunate. You. Get out of it. That's the game. It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. Why would this be here? What's this? A trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. Stick. Wanna check out the... An old television. I'll investigate. It happens. It's the world beyond, Date. <laughs> it's just static. My generation has never seen static. Right. You're only five years old. Do not measure my age on the same scale as a human's. My mental age is ten times that. Not sure what, huh? Ah. Uh. I feel like we're getting any closer. Start doing surgery. Is that gonna give us something to up? Table. Hi. Who do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? I mean, I'd summon something. Does nothing. Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. I thought it might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps oh, buddy. you should abandon that line of thinking. Hey. You've less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. One well. Oh, 
I'm gonna chug the medicine bottle. Already. Full body. Dead. What? Wait. Never mind. I didn't. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. Have to. Gamble. What else do we have? But. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, unknown. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. Gas Queen. Labor union? Sounds dystopian. I won't drink it. Fine. That, that was a gamble that sure didn't pay off at all. Oh, maybe a retry one. What on earth? Or then everything is a dead end. A full body. All right, all right. Talk. I mean, neither of these really did anything for us. He did surgery on a gun. <laughs> so true. We need, to, we need to find a way to get it. To perform surgery on the gun. Um, I think the pen is more valuable with all the like a really fucking long shit. A torso, not you. Is there any meaning to this? Can't say. But what is going on? Oh boy. Please. Something that progresses like anything. Guess we can do it with the TV. An old television. Uh, let's turn the dial. It's our sixth. I mean, oh, I forgot. Separate case that she witnessed. Murderer? That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. She f it appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. And we have a ton of time to use all that. Natural. Time's up. Is it? I'm sure we can salvage that. Angle though. Yeah, rather. Go ahead. A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. That really matters every at this point, but I considered death. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Yeah, you, you think so? Alright. Have to start over entirely depending on how much time that got us. At least it'll be fast enough. Mm. Date, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is this place? What's it gonna bring us back if we Yeah, I, I want to see what the checkpoint. <laughs> oh no, we can do whatever we want. Okay. Lock two. Let's do it. I know what to do at this point. Uh. 
one so well. An old um. Don't use that yet. What? I did not I click did. on the. <laughs> Thanks. Big like fucking button bones. Like all hit boxes. I know words for WhatsApps. Have to chug the gamer liquid. Spencer harder. Kelly Dante has to. Uh, Let's engage in some more uh, uh, corrupt cop activity and do something. It appeared to be yeah, a to do it. victim. What is going? Iris has something. Unknown. I guess that means we. Have Indeed. That's the body. Oil drum. Shh. Let's go. Three minutes, Dante. A torso. Grab better bits now. Maybe we can attempt to use it. Whatever. Now we're in a better spot. There is no Why if my Alright, what next? Shoot to death, huh? I'm gonna get the gun somehow. More accessible. Fuck. That's still all the way up there. Had to get it. A common gas canister. Now let's do it. <sighs> I have a ton of time left. Uh, it's rusted shut. I cannot open it. If you can't, then... It is meant to be closed? I think so. Amazing. A common gas... Less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. Now let... Smell tingles like sweet and sour, a ketone, perhaps acetone? Acetone, acet, some relation to iris? I cannot determine that with the evidence we have. More than likely, it is coincidence. Else there's a reference book. It is a thick book. Ah, oh, let's rip it. This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Oh, it disappeared. Melted down like a grilled cheese. What'd that do for us? Not like anything. A lot of like. Items in this, especially considering all the like high like amounts of time that everything. I know how to use work. Everything takes a really long time to, time to do and doesn't necessarily do anything. So it's like, ah, uh, do I kick it? A common gas. Amazing. Are you okay? Still pain? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. You have one minute left. What is. Well, I mean, EV again? It feels kind of boring if that's the case. TV.
Oh, it's... I guess it makes sense that I always start with looking at what's on the TV to see her find another culprit. Like, long to. Help me. Help me. This is essential that we actually see it, though. This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Add anything to home? And every other time. Need something we can Date, you've got less than thirty seconds. Well, there's the locker. I did that, just didn't comment just on the it. Locker. Yeah. <gasps> there we go. Iba? It's all right. More importantly. A hey, Rube Goldberg machine. Oh my god, it really is. Better science class. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and there's water now. I was about to say, it seemed like it kind of fell off the track. Oh, my lord. Yeah, it totally makes sense, right? On the last cannon? As excruciating as possible. Incredible. Every time I think it's like about to end. Everything makes sense. victim or someone else. Oh, and there's the... I guess we didn't have to shoot anyone. Alright. That was. And with 11 seconds to spare. And it's just somehow. Hey, happy 420. Late though. <laughs> what happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means. The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... You don't seriously think. Oh, yeah, duh. My dumbass not even, like... Realizing. So focused on the fucking 
I mean, we kind of figured it out anyway. Like, uh, way earlier. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. That's him. You cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. Not gonna turn out to be the truth, right? So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. But... And there are... I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Yeah, right? Like they're like bad for a The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I can I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Yeah, sure. Really? Really. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? 12 year old wouldn't awful things. And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Yeah, fun family outing. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Uh, sure. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. Math guy, huh? of course means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. 
as to what I saw in Somnium earlier. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Her writers know a lot about how memory works. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? Have. What? There is no point in asking her, Dante. The subject of a sink does not experience somnium in the way that you do. Second time we've been told. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news, but I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Great at interrogating. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. Yeah, there it is. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. We've been in Somnium and we couldn't find anything. We have enough evidence to uh, drug her, right? Sure. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Yeah, right? <laughs> Like ass shit. Logic in this. I have some. Good. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You? Know about that place? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? <laughs> yeah, that's like what they're trying to do, basically, right? Fucked up. Real life cops are bad enough. There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. All right, sure. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> good point. Enemies all there. Ah, that's texting stuff. Tessa! Oh, Ota! Alright. Let's just I want to find out what the fuck Ota is doing at a bar. As they obviously, like, he was brought there by Iris. I do have to sleep. <laughs> Sad and cringe, but true. I think. All good there. Next week. Time. Have another like game I'm playing every week. As much as it's uh rather, you know top shit. Now it is. Still, mysteries are fun. Oh yeah. Uh well, for coming around and chatting. Follow the um 
turn around so when you watch the archive. So next on Wednesday night through the morning, we got some armory mystery. Under my numbers, fun. During the week, and I'm peace. Well, uh, because at some point, the short stream. It's pretty bad. It happens. Yeah, thanks for hanging around. Until time. Night.